Well, we made it to Fuji Station. So you can kind of see the top. It's like right here, but it's still kind of hiding. Look at what? No, no. <gasps> wow. We gotta we gotta make it to that shrine quick so I can take a picture thousands, hundreds of thousands of other people have taken before. So this is a very famous street. You'll see a lot of people. You can see some people behind me, they're in the middle of the road, uh, trying the to take a picture. Are so mean. Yeah, the drivers. They honk people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean if you live around here, you're probably sick of having to drive through people. Uh, taking these pictures um, but it's a very famous street where you can clearly see Fuji at the end of it um, I'm gonna take a video with something other than this GoPro and then play it over this so you can check it out so a lot of towns in Japan they have I don't know if you'd call it a pride thing for each of their towns but uh, what they'll do is they'll do stuff like this I'll make a design for the manholes for the public works kind of stuff each with its own personality for that area not everywhere but a lot of towns do it and just this Fuji's is really cool the color scheme everything the design that went into it is very very cool so this is probably a water main so you can see it on that and then there's one over here in the center of the road there's no traffic coming I'm good you can see they have the little Fuji symbol on it so it's just a cool, 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 totally unnecessary thing, but still gives the town a bit of character and personality that's fun. Wow, wow wee. I wasn't able to pull out my camera for that one because now it's clear. And when we got here, we couldn't see Fuji at all. Now it's clear as day. So we gotta try and make it to the shrine, this viewpoint where we can see Fuji really, really clearly uh, before it hides behind some clouds again. Just a quick thing about design again. I think the longer that you look at certain aspects of the architecture and the public planning that went into this town, the more and more you see mountains everywhere. You'll see it in catch basins, manholes. Like that. So that's another one. It's a little bit different. Because obviously this is the town of Fuji, the mountain is here. You gotta play into that for your, for business because uh, that's what people expect. But it's cool to see the government sector, the public, public work sector also lean into that as well. You can see these great Ahead of us, we can see the entrance to the climb that we have to do. Pretty imposing. I think the most surprising thing about this shrine is that it doesn't cost anything to get in. If we were anywhere else, it feels like it would cost money. Unlike a lot of other shrines, there's no shortcut. Oh well. Except for this road. I don't know if there are actually cars that go up it. But if you want to worship the mountain, you got to make an effort. I don't know anything about this pagoda, so let's learn a little bit. Built by the mayor of Fuji Yoshida 
in 1958 to enshrine 960 citizens from Fujish, Fuji Yoshida, who died. The Sino-Japanese War, the Russo-Japanese War, World War I, and the Pacific World. Pacific War of World War II, so it's a monument to soldiers and citizens, maybe, who died. It's very impressive. 70 years old, just about, at this point. And normally, this place would have a ton of cherry blossoms, but it's a little uh, early in the season for that. This point, this uh, Churihito Shrine and the view of Mount Fuji falls into one of those things that even though there's a lot of press about it, that there's a lot of people up here and doing it, I think it's worth every step. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, so I would say it's worth the trip to Fuji and worth the climb up here. It's not long. It'll take you like from getting off the bus to up here, it'll take you like 40 minutes maybe walking. You don't even need to get a bus anywhere. You walk here, walk up the hill, take your photo and then just enjoy the view of Fuji. Highly recommended. 10 out of 10. I, I honestly thought I wouldn't like this. I thought it would be too touristy and too uh, I don't know. I just didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I do, but this is absolutely worth it. That was pretty perfect timing. Lots of houses for sale around here. This uh, five bedroom mansion could be yours. It's right by the river. Beautiful view. I should mention the ticket from Tokyo Station to the Mount Fuji main station. It's about an hour and a half bus ride and it costs 2,000 yen per person, which is, these days, it's about $17, $16, $15, dollars, something like that. And that's one way, not two ways. So it'll cost you about 30 bucks to get to and from Fuji. Well, it's time to leave Fuji and it's time to head back to Harajuku? Where Tokyo are we going? Station? Oh, Tokyo Akihabara. Station. And then Akihabara. Then we're meeting up with some friends tonight. But we'll say our goodbyes to Fuji. Have a two hour bus ride home or to Tokyo. Yoshida no Udon Kogawa. 